Let's do some MMA quotes of the week. All right, you first. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Honda Housie. Uh huh. <laughs> Since I did such a stellar one yes. of her last week, I, I don't know it. how this one's gonna go. Let's okay. See. I might try it with a real <coughs> female. I think I think she's gonna have her nose plugged. I got none of no problems, but a bitch ain't one. <laughs> That's all I got. Is that what, did she say that? Yeah. About who? The, the bitch uh, Carrera oh, that yeah, she's yeah. supposed to fight. That chick got in a big brawl in yeah, Brazil or some um, shit. She's got some death threats coming her yes. way. It's kind of a problem. She's scary. Yeah, she all she threw was a weak leg kick at that, yeah. in that fight. But See, like, the body, I think you're in, you're, you're probably in, but the face, like, fucks it all yeah. up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Face down, ass up. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That works out. Yeah. What do you got? Uh, you want me to do a quote? Go ahead. All yeah. right. So this was from a little, oh, shit. This was from a little He's while ago. He's powering down. You know what he said, Matt? Who? He said you're an asshole. Who did? You're a dick. Sit down and shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Sit down and shut up. Who's got another fucking question? Why? Why is he so <laughs> aggressive? I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> this was in Dana White uh, in the Conor McGregor. Uh, Aldo, one of the reporters from, is it Bleacher Report? I don't uh, know who asked I the think question. Yeah, asked a question about fighter pay or some. I thought it was slightly out of line in the public forum. I think that's a good question to ask in the one-on-one -on -one interview, but Dana didn't like it. He was patient. He allowed the translator to translate and Aldo to respond, and then he told the reporter to sit down and shut the fuck up. So Nice. Do you think that it's weird? Hmm. I, I was thinking about this, actually, as I was saying this out loud. I'm thinking, what balls? Like, what other sport would that be okay in? None. No. Just because we're still it's zero. MMA is a fringe sport. Crazy. At best. Can you imagine like the commissioner of the NBA just saying that? <laughs> <laughs> is it like a guy from ESPN? No. It would be everywhere. It never happened. He exactly. would get fired. Exactly. He, like that. Gone. All right. Awesome. <laughs> That's why okay, it's sport rules. Well, Jose Aldo, this is uh, Double Stripes, is a user on Reddit who had translated something he had said. So this is. Somewhat English, somewhat Portuguese, and then a uh, little translation afterwards. I can't do any fucking Jose Aldo, but you're a loser. You're a loser, dude. <laughs> <laughs> loser, Zebuceta. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Loser, loser. Zebuceta. Go fuck yourself in the ass. I don't know where I'm going, but just fucking go fuck yourself right in the middle of your ass. So oh, umbrado. Son of a bitch. You piece of shit. You big piece of shit. That's awesome, by the way. This it's is like the Irish Brazilian. <laughs> it's it's like, awesome. Just going for broke. <laughs> okay. And then the translation that that Zebo Seta says is "Pussy Joe" is the the translation. It stands for a real, real loser, someone who really can't have anything right, an incredible underachiever. And then he says the other word, "arambada." Means your butthole has seen so many penises that it just can't <laughs> function anymore. Awesome. It's like a gaped anus or something. <laughs> awesome. It's really offensive Sounds in Brazil. Sounds very offensive, yes. But that's funny because they didn't quite translate that. I think that was from the Embedded. And they're go like, he's yapping. And I think that's when he Connor stole his belt and then he was oh, just yeah, yeah. fucking you going crazy, off yeah. on him. And they didn't quite give you that translation there. No. Hmm. I wonder Weird why. Scene. <laughs> Strange. All Those right. two are making. Ha you know what? They're gonna hug and kiss after the fight. They're gonna fuck. They're gonna make chance. so much money. It's crazy. They're gonna go to a draw. Oh, that would be the smart thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> or at immediate rematch. That's actually my prediction for the Pacquiao Mayweather fight. Draw. Is it's going to end in controversy, That's and they're gonna it. have to do another one because it's too much money. Someone will test positive. They can't just They'll do it. They'll both test positive. Double yes. negative, but both people win. Yes. Go ahead. Who you got next? <laughs> okay. So, uh, what did you give me? Um, I'll save the, uh, the the Josh Barnett one for last. Hang on. I want to bring up the. Uh, no, I'll do the Josh Barnett one because it'll segue better. So, Josh Barnett. Th I believe this was on the Rogan podcast. Yeah, he was on right? the Rogan podcast talking about Travis Brown. Getting pretty heated, actually. He was getting. He was a, heated get, against uh, who was the other guy? The kickboxer. Uh, uh, oh no. John Wayne Parr. That's or, it. Yeah, he was yeah. all pissed about the shit that that guy said. Because supposedly he said that Barnett um, like got all pissy in training and left the gym because Parra like fucked him up or whatever, and then they blamed him for Josh losing or whatever. Yeah. So that segued into this whole thing, and he had said that 
he couldn't get up for the Travis Brown fight because he just, which was kind of weird. Like he didn't seem like he said he wasn't into it. So I don't yeah. Know. But now that he's like, if I fought Travis now, I'd want to take his fucking head off. He disrespected me in the ring after the match. All this shit. He fucking cut his throat. Did all this stuff. That's my shit. He did it to me. He he did it to mock me for winning. Fuck him. Yeah. Like he was pissed. It was weird. Like why why don't you carry that aggression ahead of time? He just. It was kind of it almost seemed like he was going through the motions of the fight. Yes. Had a shit performance, and then gets pissed off after the fact. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I, well, maybe he should have been there in the first place, and he wouldn't have had that performance. Yeah. You know? Josh is a weird guy. He seems he's he's got a weird sense of humor, mm-hmm. and uh, he seems like very cerebral. And him and Frank Mir kind of remind me of, of each other. Mm-hmm. Like, it, he's just strange, and I get it. Like, you know, I don't know. And he's got a match coming up at Metamoris, right? Metamoris <coughs> 6. Yep. That's just around the corner. It is. I think it's in so, May, May 20th, maybe. So it's interesting. Josh is an interesting fellow. That was a good podcast if you're out there. Check out the Joe Rogan uh, recent one with uh, Josh Barnett. Mm-hmm. Good, good listening. Joe Rogan was kind of, I think Joe was kind of like, kind of like. Baiting him. Baiting him a bit. He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> hey, fucker, let me poke you. You're a bear. Yeah. Let me, poke, let me play this for you and see what your opinion is. <laughs> That's awesome. You son of a bitch. Don't should, you, you ever do, do that. that. Get some people on the show yeah. and play them things that make them angry. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. So they hang up on us. <laughs> you, fuck you. <laughs> you son Perfect. of a bitch. Yes. All right. Chris Cyborg, which I get to post this beautiful picture of. Thanks, Mango. Okay. People are saying if I trade my Brasilia booty for a white girl's bum, I can make 135. But I want to know, Coach, can I make 135 and keep these Brazilian curves? Spring break in Brazil. Shoot a box. Chris Cyborg. Team Cyborg. <laughs> Love that one. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> can she make 135? That's the rumor now. She can. Well, she, we have found out she's officially a UFC fighter. Yes. And she's just on loan to Invicta. Correct. It's like soccer. But they do that yeah, often. Put guys on loan. Yeah, like if you got a, a young player, mm-hmm. you know, that you can't play on your team because they're not ready because your team's too good. You loan them out to another squad, and they play for someone for a year or two. They pay their salary and shit, and then they come back. So it's like a farm league within a pro kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, it's interesting. Huh. Out on loan. Huh. Soccer's weird. <laughs> Squeeze the juice. <laughs> Squeezing the juice. Yes. Um, how many more you got? That's I just got one. Like, Close it out. All right. I'll give you the uh, ally Quinter. <laughs> After his fight, a his little bit heated. Epic this... performance. Here, let me give you the crowd reaction when the decision was read. Boo! Boo, motherfucker! Are you booing me? You better not be booing me. I fought my fucking ass off. Fuck you. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I think the best part of the quote is John Anik's face just like, <laughs> this is probably the first time someone just snapped. Yeah. And then he fucking, he's just out. He just, like, I'm BJ done. pens it. And I'm he fucking out tears out well, of the Well, he octagon. pulled him back. He was, he wanted to leave. And I think it was a smart, he was like, I gotta get out of here. I'm pissed. And Eric's like, no, no, no. Let me, let me, let me just ask you a question. And he's like, fuck this. I it's, mean, it's funny because the guy who wins is the guy who's pissed off. And the guy who loses is the guy who's smiling and leaves the octagon yes. gracefully. Well, I, I don't know how you, well, let's, we'll save We'll it. talk about it later, yeah, but uh, Raging Al not making many fans. Well, he, he, he has a history of having a temper. <laughs> Probably raped the hotel room. I'm <laughs> just saying. Didn't he, isn't he the guy who smashed the Yeah, hotel room? the <laughs> last time. <laughs> yes. So, oh my God, he's just a head case. <sighs> Sorry, Al. I come to New York and train with you. Don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> it just, I, I just wonder how smart that guy is. I'm just saying, I don't know. He may not be that smart. Urge Hulk smash! You know, flick me off, I'm mad. Okay, sorry. And the last one will be Fred Simmons. That's uh, Danny McBride from uh, Fist Foot Way. Okay. Here we go. So let me think about that for a second. Okay, I've thought about it, and I think my answer to that question would have to be fuck you. <laughs> I don't care if you wake up with a ditch with grown men shitting on you and jumping on top of your head. Maybe your nose will turn into a big old dick and you could stroke that all the time. I hope your hair turns into dog shit one day. You wake up and you run your comb through it and all that is is little tunnels of dog shit 
and worst shit you could imagine. AIDS. It's cool. <laughs> Everything comes around, sweetheart. Uh, <laughs> okay. <just> fucking. <laughs> That's all I would post it. He's got some other nice quotes and whatnot. I like thought I'd bring that one out of retirement. I like it. That's it. That's quotes of the week.